Hello everyone and welcome back to the Impact Play, impacting more than just gaming. I'm your host Mohammed, otherwise known as It's Yagu. We are your one stop news shop for latest and greatest across gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, and music. Plus, we're also amplifying voices from those perspective fields and having their stories told here on the Impact Play. The support keeps the lights running and keeps the content rolling. You can support us over Anchor at anchor.fm backslash the Impact Play, where it's your Two supporters and above have access to exclusive content, including the post show, getting the show ad free, and more. And you can even support us by using an Epic credit code, then by playing. We are Epic partners with every purchase you make within the Epic store, whether it be Rocket League, Fall Guys, and more. No matter what you use to, uh, uh, no matter uh, what, how you play, as long as you play within the Epic ecosystem and use our credit code, we do get a little bit of a kickback and a little bit of a commission that will support us in a brand new way and no extra cost to you. And this episode of the Emma Clay is sponsored by Audible. This is, is the Emma Clay's Reviewcast, episode 228, where we will be reviewing the Marvel Studios special presentation, Werewolf by Night. So stay tuned and enjoy. Alrighty, folks, so Werewolf by Night has been available for three days now, as of just recording. And... Released on the seventh on Disney Plus. So if you're a, if you're a Disney Plus subscriber, it means you have access to seeing this special presentation. And before we get into this review cast, please keep in mind this is uh, a spoiler warning that this uh, review cast might have some spoilers. So please keep keep that in mind. And like I said, uh, actually no, I didn't say yeah. This live broadcast of the review cast is an ex one of the many perks. For our tier two supporters and above, they get the show live, and even uh, uh, they even get priority access up to, uh, uh, to uh, if not twenty four hours more than of priority access than everyone else, uh, either on YouTube or even on on podcast services. But nonetheless. Before we get into this, folks, you can sign up for your free WDO channel and immediately get access to one credit. And if you have Amazon Prime, you have access to two credits, and it's good for any premium title. Simply go to audiblechannel.com slash play. Once again, that URL is audiblechannel.com slash play. So I believe this special presentation is going to be the one of many. Uh, one-offs uh, do from Marvel Studios as well as Disney, uh, Disney. But nonetheless, uh, I would definitely recommend watching it. It's definitely it's a different take on the Marvel universe. And let me see, let me let me look this up. Where I want to see exactly who before we uh, actually we'll save it for the end. But nonetheless, I guess we'll get into this, folks. So the movie or the film is about an hour long. It shows, so this film is pretty much about mon about monsters, hunting monsters, and what have you, which is definitely a different take of what Marvel is doing. Uh, I was surprised to see this. I don't know how it's going to fit in with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, that's how we were teased. It was, it was teased before its release. But yeah, just to keep that in mind. But nonetheless, essentially it was hunting down monsters. Uh, I guess one older guy was hunting monsters for who knows how many years. Found something called the Bloodstone. And uh, essentially led, or should I say uh, began, the... Uh, I guess the, the hunting of mon of monsters, which is supernatural beings, even though just because they're different, you call it an abomination. They they are meant to be hunted. It doesn't work at all. But nonetheless, that's exactly uh, how it starts. And then he, uh, with his recent passing, there was a little bit of a tournament to, uh, to hunt a monster that was never quote unquote seen before, unlike any other. And if they, uh, uh, the winner who hunts him and claims the the bloodstone that was placed in his back door, and or she's in his back door, gets to keep it as well as rule 
or continue rolling on the monster hunting tradition. So his estranged daughter was also one of those. And then a hybrid of a monster, which can take on to human forms. So I don't know if he's half monster, half human, or it can take on a human hybrid type form. I don't know exactly what's going on. They didn't explain that. They didn't explain that at all. But unless uh, he 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 uh, he took part, uh, found himself placed into this tradition, so he could rescue his friend, which is the monster that was being hunted. It was, it was funny. But nonetheless, uh, fast forward, da -da 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 -da, and then it's essentially a free for all. So the hunters can hunt each other, they, and, and it, they can eventually hunt hunt the monster. So that's what happened. Uh, I believe two of those hunters died, and then uh, his the monster hybrid identity was, I guess, it was caught on because he tried to catch the as his friend was escaping. Uh, the, the strange daughter grabbed the ruby with some chain tight rope thing, grabbed it. And then it fell on the floor. He tried to grab it, and then he was essentially paralyzed. And that only does that to monsters. So that's how his identity was revealed. And then not only that, the bloodstone also has the power to. Uh, so the way monsters work essentially in this film is throughout every uh, full moon, they transform into 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 this being. But instead of Using the the moon to force his transformation, that's where the blast com comes in. It forces that transformation. So I did that with the strange daughter because they pretty much uh, partnered together. So essentially, almost everyone 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 is dead. Even the re uh, recently deceased father's wife was also. You see, so they're all, all a bad pile of, they're just bad, essentially. And then they all, uh, essentially a, not a rebirth. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A revamp, remastered, no. Uh, I guess a revamp is the only thing I can think of. So everything is gonna be uh, there's uh, everything is gonna be changed. It's gonna be revamped. So we'll have to wait and see if there's gonna be a part two, or how this is gonna connect into the overall Marvel Cinematic Universe. We'll have to wait and see on that front. Uh, essentially, it was new characters in this, no form of special appearances, or even a uh, a post or a mid credit scene. Nothing like that of the sort. And then while we're at the end of this. Um, Hold on, give me a second. Let me look this up. As a rating, I enjoy, I enjoyed it, and it was definitely you know a different take from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is a black and white film, similar to how, what's the other TV series that came out brief, briefly, uh, uh, the Scarlet Witch, uh, the Scarlet Witch series, uh, like how it begins black and, black and white, and then it, it, uh, gets into color later on, so essentially that's why this happened, so it's all black and white, and then towards the ending is where it transformed into color. But I definitely thoroughly enjoyed it, though. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Let me see. I think I found something. And it's essentially, it's a Halloween special. It's how it came about. Uh... And according to the Cosmic Circus, and this article is coming from Game Rant, where Marvel Studios is considering developing more special presentations in place of the Sandra 69 series, according to the outlet. 
a certain MCU project for Disney Plus that have already been reported on could be developed as special presentations. So uh, the next pres special presentation that we're getting is the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Uh, let's see. So it looks like that's what they're doing. What they're gonna be doing. So I'm so that I'm assuming that's where. Let me see if I can find something else to for uh for the calibrate this. Give me a second. Oh, here it is, Kevin Feige. Here it is. Here's another one coming from Marvel.com. Mm, let me skim over this real quick. So the uh, special presentation was composed by Michael Giacchino. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that actually connects it to the overall Marvel Cinematic Universe. All, all, all I'm seeing is that it's gonna. It looks like they're invent. They're uh, testing this new format, and they might, you know, eventually change it to a special presentation instead of you know TV TV series like She Hulk. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's all I'm seeing. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, One Division. That was that TV series I was talking about earlier. <laughs> it's funny how I forgot though, because that show wasn't for me. I, I, I didn't enjoy that at all. A TV series. Oh, here it is. How does the tie into the MCU? So, Kevin Feige has a reveal that this special will have a major impact on the overall universe and many other universe going forward. The, he said that they wanted to explore entirely new characters and entirely new sides of the, of the MCU with this unusual fun and frightening spin on the supernatural and that they are introducing a world that will ultimately become quite important to the future of the MCU. So we'll have to wait and see how this how, how, how this plays into that. But in regards to the rating, hmm, what should I give it? Uh, uh, I guess the only thing that's holding me back, I kind of want to give it like a four and a half, is. Can help it's how it's fitting into this overall MCU. I can't fathom it at the moment, but nonetheless, I did enjoy it thoroughly. Uh, the story, the plot, the characters were interesting. Uh, I kind of wish what they could have done as they introduced this is do like a, like a prequel, how the father uh, how the father was before he passed away. That's that's my that's my only sh only strife against it, but unless it, I would definitely highly recommend watching it if you guys are a Marvel fan or even uh like you enjoy this type of black and white films and uh what have you, but I guess four and a half or four point twenty five. Four and a half. 4.5 out of a 5 star rating on the Amber Play scale. So, I guess so, uh, this is meant as a mere guide to help guide you towards developing your own opinions if you so choose. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review, enjoyed my hot takes on the Marvel's new take on these special presentations with, with the inherent launch of 
Werewolf, Werewolf by Night. But nonetheless, thank you so much for being a part of with us. If you guys in, uh, wanted to be a part of something more, you can send us Rudy Mail. You have three ways to do so. Via email to rudymail at the mplay.com, via Discord, our Discord server, even via a voice note by leaving a voice over at echo.fm slash play. So either your feedback will either be played live on the show or even read live on a special segment of the show. So thank you guys so much for being here, being a part of it with us, and just being with us since since our two-year-plus journey. Thank you guys so much. Have a great one, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>